In this clip I'll discuss calibration of the flow sensor. As with the gas sensors, the flow sensor has been calibrated at the cubit factory and should not drift. However, you should be aware of how to check the flow calibration and to change it if necessary. As was stated in earlier clips, the differential pressure across the PTAC screen created by the, the breath provides the means for flow measurement. Unlike the gas sensors, the flow sensor is very nonlinear, especially over a large range of flow interest. For example, if you're interested in high flows in the range of 10 liters per second necessary for flow volume loops in lung studies. This calibration plot here was obtained at the Cubit factory and shows the nonlinearity. To it we have fitted separate fifth order polynomials for positive flow, in other words exhale, and negative flow inhale. These separate fifth order polynomials can be observed in the worksheet by clicking on the appropriate column. The procedure of calibration is to calibrate at either of two points, thereby just shifting the calibration curve up or down. The lower point at about one liter per second if you're interested in low flows, resting flows. The high point at eight liters per second if you're more interested in flow volume loops for lung studies or even in exercise breathing in the range of three, four, five liters per second. So I'll now show the setup for flow calibration. First of all, it may be necessary to zero, so observe the flow meter in the Logger Pro screen with no flow and adjust that PTAC zero on the front of the S147 to give a value of zero on the flow meter. The spanning is slightly more complicated. You use one of the two supplied T's with the attached precision tubing. This is small bore tubing used to create a small differential pressure which will be used to calibrate the flow. We use the sample exhaust simply as a convenient fixed flow to generate this fixed differential pressure across the, board, the precision tubing. This fixed differential pressure is then calibrated to that produced by the breath flow across the screen in the PTAC and thereby calibrate the breath flow. As I was saying earlier, if you're interested in low flows, for example for resting breath, use the large bore tubing and adjust the flow meter in the Logger Pro display using the um, PTAC span on the front of the S147 to get one liter per second. If you're more interested in high flows for exercise breathing or for lung studies, use the small bore tubing which creates a higher differential pressure and adjust the span to read eight liters per second on the Logger Pro flow meter. So here is the setup for calibrating flow. We use the sample exhaust as a convenient means of a fixed flow, ensuring that the flow is 300 mils per minute. If not, adjust the pump speed to obtain 300 mils per minute on the rotometer. Use that 300 mils per minute into the supplied T with the precision tubing to create a small differential pressure across the tubing. The bottom of the T is connected to the PTAC tube, the large tube, and connected to the S147 to measure that differential pressure and thereby calibrate. So let's actually 
see the calibration procedure on the Logger Pro screen. I now have no flow through the PTAC and therefore should have a flow value of zero which is the case. If this is not the case adjust the zero of the PTAC on the front of the S147 to obtain a flow of zero. Next I will change over to the large bore tubing according to the setup in the previous slide and you see we obtain a flow value of about one liter per second. If this was not the case adjust the PTAC span on the front of the S147 to obtain one liter per second. If you're more interested in high flows use the small bore tubing and you see the flow is read at about 8 liters per second. Again, if this was not the case, adjust the PTAC span to get 8 liters per second. So now we have calibrated the flow meter.